Now, pollution accounts for more death every year than any illness. That's the headline from a new report published recently in the medical journal The Lancet. Part of the response to this massive number involves a treating pollution like a health issue instead of just an environmental problem. VOA's Kevin Inox explains. The key takeaway from the report is that pollution damages human health, not just the environment. It kills more people than war, than hunger, than malaria or AIDS or tuberculosis. All of these pale in comparison. The other takeaway is that the mortality rate is primarily affecting people who have the most trouble getting help. In 2015, pollution-related diseases accounted for 9.6 million deaths. 92% of that burden is in low- and middle-income countries. That is big for us. It's big in terms of the distribution of the problem. To put it in plain speak, the distribution is unfair. The researchers say our brains are making pollution harder to fight. Human beings are wired to respond to immediate threats. Infectious diseases like Zika, like dengue, that make people quickly and obviously sick really get the public attention. By contrast, non-communicable diseases, chronic diseases that are caused by pollution, learning disabilities, cancer, chronic lung disease, take years to play out. The connection between cause and effect is not visible, and people put it in the back of their mind. So the report tries to break down the problem into smaller parts. There's air pollution, water pollution, soil, or workplace issues. Within each of those categories, they tend to be the same kind of problems that show up again and again and again. And this is how we should look at pollution. Like the pervasive air pollution in India and China. India has become vastly more dangerous over the last 20 years because of the air pollution. Dangerous in a way that we've really never seen on the planet. In other places, it's ground pollution by lead and hazardous waste that sticks around for years. Soil pollution toxicants don't break down. They stay in the soil and can continue to poison people for generations. Everyone involved says things are getting better, but also that a lot of damage has already been done. No matter where you go, parents never want to see their kids getting poisoned. A kid who has brain damage from lead poisoning is never going to have the full potential of his life. And it can't be fixed, but it can be prevented and the next kid can be protected. The Lancet report urges nations to set specific five-year, 10-year and beyond targets to make the problem feel more manageable. Kevin Enix, VOA News.